Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes and I always got hand-me-downs. Now she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. Welcome to The Break. I'm your host, Ike Slimster. With a gay scene in the city of Abidjan that cannot be rivaled by its West African counterparts, Ivory Coast hosted the Miss Wubi contest. A cross-dressing beauty pageant where men can be seen dressed in flowing gowns and wearing hair extensions in all various colors as they parade down a red carpet. The Miss Wubi Beauty Pageant, which forms part of the Popo Carnival Parade in the town of Bonoa, is a showcase of gender fluidity as 13 men seek to be crowned Miss Wubi. The Popo Carnival, Popo, which means mask, is a week-long celebration of cultural heritage of the Ibori people of Ivory Coast. During the carnival, many Ivorians take part in different competitions, pageants, sporting events, and perform traditional dances. The Miss Wubi pageant, whose name, Wubi, is an Ivorian slang that refers to the effeminate partner who plays the female role in the homosexual relationship between two men. Organizers of the Miss Wubi have stated that their aim is to bring different members of the LGBT community in Abidjan together. Despite their sexual orientation and gender expression to break down barriers, Ivory Coast is one of the most tolerant countries in Africa as it relates to the gay community. The Law Library of Congress states that in some countries like Sudan, sexual acts between homosexuals can be punishable by death. In Uganda, certain homosexual acts is punishable by a 14-year prison sentence. Nigeria prohibits public showcases of same-sex relationships in northern Nigeria. Homosexual acts is punishable by death. Ivory Coast still has no laws that protect its LGBT community. Some Ivorians who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgendered are still subject to harassment in public by hostile and angry mobs. And for this reason, taking photographs of the pageant is prohibited so that participants can be protected and their safety ensured. The beauty pageant was first held in 2009 as an attempt to help destigmatize the effeminate gay man who is often obligated to conform to gender norms and appear very masculine in public out of fear of possibly being detected. In 2013, however, the contest was canceled after photographs of the pageant was published in 2012 by the tabloid Allo Police. Allo Police's attempted to expose participants of the Miss Wubi titled its November 2012 cover in French, the gays of Abidjan have elected their Miss. The unwanted publicity then led to the cancellation of 2013's pageant. The question I have for you, the viewers, do you think LGBT should be legalized in most of Africa? Do you think the gay community deserve a right to live freely? Leave your comments below and let us know what you think. This has been The Break. Thank you.